pal of you as well. Not long now until the 20th of March, the release date for Project Cars. No doubt Slightly Mad Studios are working overtime to bring the title to completion. We've been following it on the PC over the past three years. We'll have many more previews to come on that as well. But of course, the one thing we haven't seen much of is the console games. Now, we saw the PS4 version last year. Of course, the Xbox 360 version was shown as well, but certainly in a very early state. Now we have a version that's much closer to completion as they're optimizing it and preparing it for launch. So here we see the PS4 version running. Uh, let's take a look in more detail. So here it is then, the PS4 version running and we're finally getting to see what console fans are going to be looking forward to. There's been a delay since last year, many people were disappointed at the time, but understanding of the fact that Slightly Mad Studios wanted to make a better experience. And here we can see cockpit cam looking spectacular. Again, this game, once it's complete, aiming for 1080p, 60 frames per second, so it's worth taking into account the challenge the team face in bringing a title of this scale uh, to completion. And of course here we're looking at some of the different cars from wet conditions to dry conditions in the old Formula Rookie this is or the old Formula Fords racing here at Bathurst and we can see that nice blur effect running well as well. Oh, yeah. Getting used to the car took a slight knock but no problem and it's nice to see the sun effect coming through the trees as well. Nice to see how the lighting has translated the challenges the team have faced in terms of bringing the handling as well as the visuals. This video focuses very much on the visual side of things and as you can see those of you who have been following the development and the progress uh, can see that it's all converted very well indeed. Uh, lots of detail there running really nice and smoothly and it's certainly something for console fans to look forward to in terms of racing you know and the, 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 the whole approach to simulation it's certainly going to take it up another level and for PS4 fans in particular it's going to be a key title. If you love racing games this is definitely going to be the one. It's the one I would be straight out to buy for me uh, and it's, we, it's got so much depth in terms of the handling, the amount of cars in there, the amount of circuits, you're not likely to get bored very quickly. So as you can see you've got different times of day, different weather conditions and as we race around here Autumn Park great circuit I do like the circuit lots of undulation very challenging car goes light there as we go towards the final corner on to Monza here in the Lotus 98T that I've run a few times exterior view for those that like that sounds pretty good as well good audio there from this car from behind it's um, it's a bit tricky for me I'm using the controller in this video so all these videos are done with the controller uh, traction control is off uh, and it's quite a handful this car. If you click on the video of course you'll see that option in the top corner of a few of these scenes. You can click on and see the full race, see how I get on. On to night racing as well. Everything is covered in project cars and we can see here a bit of a replay in the bottom as well as the top there racing around Imola. The first circuit that was shown, the first circuit I tested three years ago on the game and I still find it a good benchmark circuit. Whoa! A few cars were braking more heavily than I expected there but never mind. We're going to continue on our way round. So it's a course I know well. Always challenging at the start. Everything you're seeing here is, of course, a work in progress. Developing the AI, improving the frame rate, really smoothing the game out, getting rid of any bugs so it looks and plays absolutely fantastic towards launch. Fingers crossed it's all working, certainly so far. Uh, you can see for yourself how it's coming along and looks absolutely fantastic as we go up the hill. And we can see the moon there as well, Let's point that out there, that's a nice big moon. So we go around the top of the hill, working our way down, we can see the different sort of lighting effects and everything. 17 cars running, no problem so far, uh, really running well and uh, it didn't seem to slow the hardware down at all. But one thing I will point out is the replays. Now you'll have noted the replay in the bottom corner there, replays look fantastic, probably the best replays there are on console. Certainly for PlayStation fans, you've had Gran Turismo, but let's face it, the replays haven't moved on since 1997 a great deal. Um, here you get the full TV camera replays, as you can see there. Some great audio as well. And, and I think you can see for yourself just the different types of camera shots that we've got there working with and just how good it looks. I love a good replay. And so you can click on any of the full race videos we have here. All these are clickable, click on those and in the video you can also select whether you want to watch the car cam or the replay cam full screen as well. 
lots of coverage there to check out and an example of the different handling uh, and how even how weather affects the handling as well but more more a look at the visuals than anything else we want to focus on the visual elements and how it's translated to console and just what a great job uh, Slightly Mad have done in converting this and getting the frame rate as well, which is something that a lot of game titles seem to be struggling with at the moment. You know, the amount of visuals that you lose in terms of trying to up that frame rate. Now, of course, here we see the Azure Coast uh, racing along here. This is one of the point-to-point -point circuits or sections in the game, and I wanted to include a bit of that for those of you that hadn't seen it. You may know some of the racetracks that some of these... Uh, uh, new to project cars and the different viewpoints as well you can use center of the car this one's quite good as well and incredibly realistic in its own way so racing along this is a long long section i don't know exactly i can't remember exactly how long this took but it certainly took a while so i've edited it here just to show you we start off in the town work our way up into the mountains and then back out to the coast and as ever Certainly challenging to get the maximum out of your car. That's why I race along here in the Ford Focus and then racing back, I believe, to the coastline. Uh, whoa, through the tunnel, losing the back end there, but keeping it together. And you can see the movement, how they've developed the physics, the suspension. It's really moved on a long way. I've taken a knock at the front there, but we're okay so far. And you can see for yourself the detail. The reflection on the windscreen is there. Uh, the lighting, the mountains, big mountains, lots of detail. That's what we like to see. And it's all looking and playing very well indeed so far, I'm sure you'll agree. Certainly the developers looking to squeeze every ounce of the current power out of the system. As ever, we always know that year on year there's always more to be found. But certainly it's been a big job bringing this together. And certainly one for PS4 fans to look forward to. I'm sure it's going to be on the list and the feedback so far has been very good as well. So that was the end of that run. And now I was looking at a bit more wet weather. We're going around Brands Hatch here in the BMW and of course, windscreen wipers not working. I'm, I'm starting the race and I'm thinking, damn, I can't see where I'm going here. So at this point, I wanted to include this. I uh, completely went off trying to find the button to start the windscreen wiper because it was going to be pointless for me otherwise. And there we have it now. I've got a windscreen wiper now, so racing around very challenging conditions the wet weather varies depending on the car as to how challenging it is but uh, certainly it's challenging to race around but you can see for yourself the circuit detail in the different conditions here as well uh, again a very impressive visually and that affects the handling greatly as well so as i leave you with these last few corners of brand's hatch i'm going to leave you with a little bit of a musical montage with some of the best scenes from project cars so far um, and you can enjoy the visuals uh, and the journey of Project Cars.